everything here. So the Motion Picture Association of America uh, launched a website uh, called Where to Watch, um, and this is kind of like their answer to, uh, or kind of like the, the way they're addressing the large, large issue of people watching uh, TV shows and movies and other uh, copyrighted material online illegally. And they know that this is something they can't really counteract because of the amount of people that do it. They can't, you know, go after all those people. So they're going to try and find a way to kind of uh, relate to the people, those users that already exist that are doing this. Um, take something that they are really already invested in, which is kind of uh, the know, knowing the know-abouts of the internet and where to find the information. Um, and then also connecting them with the legal thing, which they know, obviously, when they do this, that it would be illegal. Um, so what they did was launch this website called Where to Watch. Uh, and essentially what it does is it allows you to search for a movie uh, or a TV show or some kind of source of thing of entertainment that's copyrighted um, and give you a, a way um, to watch it uh, online. And that will address the issue in terms of finding it online rather than purging the DVD or the Blu-ray or something like that. Uh, but the one thing that obviously a lot of people, the reason why they invest in that, you know, the legal way or risked it in, you know, in those terms is that because they don't want to spend the money. And with Where to Watch, there are some uh, TV shows and movies you can watch completely uh, free and legally online. Uh, but in most cases, you will have to buy, you will have to rent uh, these movies. Um, and now, the thing is, what I don't understand is that there are services like, uh, I think like uh, M2Go or something like that, or uh, other movie watching uh, services, even like Netflix for example, a uh, giant, giant competitor in that space. They already have those that feature where you can watch it online, but you have to pay for it. The, answer, the issue is that people don't want to pay for it. So what this really does is kind of just open up another search engine, which already exists within Google. Um, that can search through a, a bunch of websites and tell you where you can rent that that exact movie or TV show you would like to watch. So I think the where to watch is kind of very similar to the website called Can I Stream It? Again, the very same concept. Um, in the Verge article, they talk about how um, they all they do is really narrow the hunt for you, but they don't really give you a better alternative. Um, it is again the same thing, it's just a search engine. Um, I guess this is a bit different, it's newsworthy because you wouldn't expect the MPAA to make something like this because mainly they go after the people um, that you know do, do watch illegally. Uh, so I guess in this situation they kind of want to relieve themselves of that much work and then also help those people out. What do you guys think? Would you guys use the service? Let me know in the comments below. The source is also in the description. Peace out guys, everything.